Hey guys, uh, this is Jack, and welcome to my expectations video um, of iPhone OS 4.0. And today is April 7th, tomorrow will be April 8th, and Apple has recently uh, announced a media event for April 8th. So, this is just a recap of what I expect to see, what I hope to see, and hopefully I will see tomorrow um, on the big, you know, keynote. So, a little tech, tech tidbit before I begin. Um, Flip is, on Best, in Best Buy, uh, there were some leaked screen, uh, shots of a Flip slide HD camera and I'm kind of pissed because I just got I just bought the flip minnow like minnow HD like yesterday and last night and then today that you know there's some there's some new camera out so ugh. well anyway um, in iPhone OS 4.0 I hope to see one feature above all else and you guys could probably probably guess what it is it's called multitasking and I want to see something like um, the web OS palms web OS the way you can slide through your apps like flip through through them and I want to see something like um, Backgrounder incorporate as well because I do not want every application I open to be um, running to be running as a background processy process after I close it and that's you know so that's kind of crucial because I don't want every application I open to you know do that I want to be able to choose for example maybe a four fingers uh, swipe gesture or some sort of button to press or, you know to in order to enable this application to be part of a background process so multitasking, I want something elegant. I don't want like Google's in, in, um, Google's uh, way of use of doing multitasking. It's horrible. Um, on my G1, which you see here, it's background processes is a huge problem because I can't. If, if I open an application, it will be running in the background after I close it, and I, there's no way for me to clo to force quit the application without going to some third party, you know, uh, task manager program. And that's kind of ridiculous because I can't really even do it within app, the phone itself, so it's just out of control. Um, so yeah, multitasking. And I also want to see a high resolution display uh, on the iPhone. And hopefully, you know, I mean, the iPhone's full HVGA display was awesome back in 2007, but nowadays headsets, a lot of headsets have uh, 800 by 480, um, you know, pixel screens. And those are like really big and really awesome. And people even have, I mean, Samsung's got their OLED and AMOLED um, displays and also 720p uh, video recording. So I want to see a better camera in the iPhone um, and maybe support for like 720p video recording because two cell phones, the HTC Evo 4G and a, a Samsung Galaxy S uh, all have uh, 720p video recording. Although they're slated for release uh, later this year, um, but I expect the iPhone to catch up in terms of that. And the high resolution display would actually benefit iPad uh, owners as well because when we emulate or when we run iPhone applications on our iPad, this it's roughly one fifth of the size um, of our total pixel pixels. So when we blow them up, we have to blow them up five times. And that, and if you blow up an application with a keyboard like Facebook, it's really blocky and it just the whole keyboard looks really pixelated and blurry. I know Apple promised to reduce that kind of thing, but it's still there. And a high resolution to begin with when you blow it up. Um, it, would, it would be clear, not as crisp as an iPad iPad application, but better than uh, nothing. So I also want to see um, support for a second camera. By that I mean I want to see a webcam, some sort of video chat function there, because the iPhone, a lot of Nokia headsets, um, not like the N series, they have a they have a um, they have a you know video video chat camera, and that's that's in Europe, and they're not really popular in, in the United States. So I want to see the kind of Apple kind of push everyone along with the video chat uh, segment. And I also want to see a unified inbox because a lot of people have multiple email accounts, me included, and my dad. And we really, usually I only sync, I only put one email account on my uh, my iPad or my iPhone or I mean, my, my iPod Touch or my G1 because having multiple email accounts, it's really hard to manage on a small screen. And if there is a unified inbox on, a, on the iPad or iPhone OS 4.0, it would be really cool for us iPad owners because we can you know, do a lot more and there'd be more features, you know, and um, yeah, so you know, find inbox. Also for um, the high resolution thing, um, I hope that since there's a high resolution, there'll be more UI elements that iPad applications, I mean iPhone application will be redesigned to take advantage of the bigger screen and you know, more UI elements, that means you can do a lot more. For example, the brushes application on the I iPad are is much more powerful and easier to use than the iPhone because of the bigger screen. I also want to see enhanced voice to text features. And voice to text features, like I want voice style. Um, that is something missing on the iPhone for a long, long time. And my G1 has it. 
and by default, I don't have to install a separate application. And you know, voice to text, I can do a lot more. I can basically like dictate my speech. For example, I can write notes with by talking or um, voice style or whatever, or search through voice. And Google offers that in their applications on the iPhone and iPad probably, but I want to see native support for that. Um, also, Apple bought Lala back in December of last year, and hopefully we'll be, we'll be able to see something, something um, that incorporates their technology, their streaming technology over the cloud. Because, it's, for example, if I'm at my friend's house and I have a Wi-Fi connection um, on my iPad, I want to be able to stream a video from my MacBook Pro. And it would be really cool if I could do that. Because you know maybe I don't want to sync my my iPad with his to get a video, or I want to show him something from at home. I don't ha I forgot to put on my iPad. So there's a lot of uses for um, the streaming capability. It'd be really cool if Apple was able to incorporate that. Um, I I kind of think they're kind of they're really busy with the iPad launch and the iPad software they had to you know fix up before uh, launch day. And yeah, so it'd be also really cool if um, if Apple announced a wireless sync capability. Because I sometimes feel the need to sync my iPad, maybe you know, maybe even through a network. Basically, like if I'm at Starbucks, and I want to sync my iPad with my MacBook Pro, um, and I don't have my MacBook Pro with me, then I, I want to have some sort of wireless sync, you know, over the network to, you know, that'd be really cool if they could do that. And uh, so I'm reading this from GigaOm.com. Um, it's it's just they have a lot. They, there are six uh, features to expect in iPhone OS 4.0 are basically what I feel I, I want to expect for an iPhone OS 4.0 as well. And with a few little additions at to, of my own. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, pricing. That's something that everyone um, usually kind of ignores until at, at Steve Jobs says, so what does this cost? You know, um, For us iPad owners, I do not expect Steve Jobs. Actually, I do not want Steve Jobs to charge us because we got our devices literally five days ago, less than a week ago. Um, and there's, it makes no sense for us to pay another 10 bucks or five bucks, even a dollar for an OS that we just, we started using five days ago. And for iPhone users, you know, they are paying the data plan, so they will probably get it free um, as always. And for us iPod, iPod Touch owners like me, um, my dad's currently using it now since I have the iPad. Um, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't wanna pay like another 10 bucks, maybe five bucks. But I expect iPod uh, touch owners to be um, to pay for the, the software upgrade, and and iPad owners and iPhone owners to get it free. So that's just those are my expectations for iPhone OS 4.0, which will be uh, demoed tomorrow live uh, by Steve Jobs, and hopefully we'll, you know we can we can watch the uh, I'll do a recap video tomorrow of how my predictions went with what actually happened, and that's it for this video. Thanks guys for watching, and please follow me on Twitter. I'm Twitter.com/slash Beautiful code, uh, no caps, no spaces, just beautiful and code. Thanks guys for watching.